हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फार्मा ज्ञान फ्रेंड्स इन दिस चैनल यू कैन लर्न अबाउट फार्मास्यूटिकल गाइडलाइंस फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिसेस प्रोसेसेस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन प्रैक्टिसेस एंड मेनी मोर अबाउट फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज फ्रेंड्स प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर माई चैनल फार्मा ज्ञान एंड प्रेस वेल आइकॉन गिवन इन बॉटम राइट कॉर्नर टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स डायरेक्टली इन योर नोटिफिकेशन पैनल वेन आई अपलोड न्यू वीडियोज सो नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वीडियो एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इनग्रीडियंट्स कमिटी ए पी आई सी क्लीनिंग वैलिडेशन क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स गाइडेंस ऑन एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ क्लीनिंग वैलिडेशन इन एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इनग्रीडियंट प्लांट्स September 2016 Question 9 Is it necessary to establish time limits for cleaning if equipment is not used frequently Advice Please see previous advice to question 8 Question 10 What is the maximum time allowed after cleaning with water as last rinse Advice Equipment should not be left with water in it after cleaning The last step of the cleaning procedure involves drying with solvent or flushing with nitrogen, thus ensuring that there is no opportunity for microbial growth. Question 11. Is it possible that a deterioration of equipment may take place over time, thus invalidating the original validation results? Advice Materials used to manufacture equipment for the pharmaceutical forward slash chemical industry is of a very high standard. However, equipment materials used should be evaluated to ensure their durability over time as part of the preventative maintenance program. The possibility of surface roughness and any possible effects that it may have on cleaning should be considered. Companies employing verification methods after validation should monitor analytical data generated as part of this process. Question 12. If a company has validated a worst case scenario, grouping or bracketing regime, should they also need to validate a less worst case? Advice. When grouping products and determining worst case situation scenario for validation, Companies should determine whether or not the worst case being validated is one which is appropriate for routine manufacture. For operational reasons it may be beneficial to validate a less stringent cleaning procedure for some products. Question 13. In a case of a dedicated plant with no degradants, is there a need to validate? Advice Companies should consider each situation individually and validate where there is a potential for contamination. In the above situation, there may not be a need. However, consideration should be given to the number of runs being performed prior to full cleaning. Question 14. Should cleaning validation be part of a development program? Advice While it is not a requirement of ICH that cleaning validation be performed during development phase the following should be considered If the equipment being cleaned after the development product in question is used to manufacture commercial product or product for human use for example clinical trials it is essential to verify the appropriate cleanliness of the equipment prior to reuse Development of the cleaning procedure for the product should take place at development phase for validation when the product becomes commercially available. The cleaning procedure validation should be performed or at least should start with the process validation campaign. Question 15. Is it necessary to include microbiological testing forward slash aspects in the cleaning validation program? Advice. Yes, if the following product needs to have a low microbiological load, also depending on the cleaning agent used, if there is any risk for microbiological contamination of the subsequent product, for example if water is used for final cleaning. Question 16, which analytical methods should be used in cleaning validation studies? 
is only HPLC testing acceptable, and to which extent should these methods be validated? Advice. Any analytical method suitable for its intended use could be used. In general limit tests are performed in cleaning validation studies which result in less stringent validation requirements. As outlined in ICHQ2 and Q2B. However, if a company decides to validate analytical methods, suitable for the determination of the residue over a certain range, for example decay curve, to prove the success of cleaning during proceeding of a defined cleaning procedure consisting of individual cleaning steps, also less stringent validation requirements for for example linearity and accuracy could be established compared with figures typically required in the validation of API release testing methods. Question 17. Do we have to wait for swab and rinse samples to be approved prior using the equipment for production? Advice. During cleaning validation studies, it is recommended to wait for completion of all planned tests prior to release equipment for further use, to be able to perform an investigation if tests fail. In routine operations, after validation has been completed, the release of equipment pending testing results, verification, monitoring status of the tests, could be done. Responsibilities and circumstances for using equipment pending release should be defined within the company.